Hi parents, uh, some of the schools that I work with have asked me to do some tips for parents for homeschooling. You've all been tasked with this, well many of you have been tasked with this monumental role of being a um, teacher at home. Uh, and so I thought I would give you some tips from an OT's perspective. So the human brain is, is really amazing and it always wants to know where the body is. Um, it's a survival thing if it knows where the body is. And it can protect the body. The problem is that after 20 or 30 minutes of sitting in front of a desk or a screen, um, there's not really any movement going to the brain to tell the brain where the body is. And so what happens is one of two things, either the brain goes to sleep or um, the, uh, it asks the child to move. So you can really help your child focus by giving them structured movement breaks throughout their homeschooling day. So these are my top four tips for including movement uh, into the school day. So the first one is a game we called Hold Yourself Up. It's just they take both their hands, put them on the side of the chair, and they hold themselves up for as long as they can. Do that for five to ten times for really sort of increased focus. The next is a game I call Strongest Child in the World. This is where you find a couch or a sofa or a chair and you sit on it and you get your child to try and push you across the room. It's a really great whole body activity for firing up that brain again. Um, third, there is uh, Push the Wall Over. And this is a game where you get your child to really try and push the wall over. They're engaging their whole upper limb, their, their shoulder girdle, and really doing a great heavy work activity. And this, um, this is, is also, as well as for focus, this is a really good um, preparatory activity for handwriting and other fine motor, fine motor tasks. Uh, and then the last one is animal walks. Now, all kids love imaginary play, and animal walks is a really great movement way of, of of incorporating some um, imaginary play into the school day. So get them to be a snake or a duck or a crab and all that feedback they get through all four of their limbs as they move along the floor, from the floor to the brain will really get their brain and their body connected for increased focus. So I really hope you find that useful. Please tag a mum who's struggling with homeschooling or a dad who's at home um, so that they can use these tips as well. Good luck.